came as a surprise to us. I'm told it came as a surprise to you as well. Uh, certainly, uh, I probably was going down to interview somebody tomorrow for a job. But hey, that that's the way things go. You know, we didn't win enough games, and uh, ultimately, that's what you're judged on. You know, I'd really like to thank Bob Young and Scott Mitchell for the opportunity, and all the people I've worked with here: Scott McNaughton, Sean Burke, Drew, Obi, Tamara. You know, and I really enjoyed working with the players. And uh, it was, uh, uh, even though we didn't win a lot of games, it was enjoyable for the aspect. Feel bad for the assistant coaches that all uh, gave up their uh, life wherever it was and came up here. And, uh, you know, I feel bad for them. Coach, you were saying you didn't win enough games. Do you think um, the CFL game is so different from the NFL game that uh, it was a hard transition? No, because I've coached up here way longer than I've coached anywhere else. Go ahead. Did they give you any reason why they didn't feel that you were the right guy moving forward? You know, it doesn't really matter whether there's a reason or not. It's, uh, you know, the ownership always has uh, the option of doing what they would like. And, you know, when you get into this business, you accept that and you move on. Do you think you could have assumed the role of being a general manager coach? Oh, I, you know, it's, uh, I didn't see a the biggest difference I saw in my job this year than what I'd been as an assistant coach at Calgary was that the, was that I had the final say instead of just I was in on the discussion. So you know I didn't see it as being a huge change from what I'd done in the past. So, but you know that's uh, neither here nor there. Did you feel that you struggled in any part of this, coach? Looking back on it now, would you have done things differently given how it turned out? I uh, would have won more games. <laughs> yeah. No, I think we had a good plan of how we how we. Did, did things and it was uh, pretty much based on places I'd been in the past and how we'd done things successfully in the past. So I don't uh, I don't do a lot of second guessing. Once you make a decision, you you move forward after that. So you don't think it was um, injuries or execution or game plans or no? It's just uh, hey, we just weren't quite good enough. What's next for you? Well, you know, clean out my office throw a bunch of paper away they don't need anymore. No, you know, I'm I've coached pretty well. I've coached all my life. Uh, after I got out of university, so I'm I'm hoping to be coaching again next year. That's what you'd like to do. You'd like to get back right back into coaching because odds are you'll have a fairly decent severance package for the next couple of well, years. Well, you know, it's uh, that's you know I I get bored very rapidly if I'm not uh, working. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to getting back into coaching. Hopefully, as a coordinator. You would don't wouldn't want to go back to being a head coach if that opportunity presented itself. Well, I I would not say that, but I don't see where it's going to present itself anytime soon and uh, so you know you can't uh, predict the future very far down the road you know I know obviously there's going to be a job in Ottawa but uh, in, a, in a year or two but you know as of right now there's no jobs out there and uh, hey like I said I like to coach. Would you like to be a head coach again has this experience I mean you know you waited a long time to become a head coach got the opportunity would you like to do it again is it something oh, yeah. you strive to do? No it's uh, I enjoyed it tremendously and it was uh nice you know being in charge of some things where you in in the past you were only part of the input in it and uh but uh yeah i enjoyed it very much i'd like to do it again but if, if that opportunity occurs that'd be great if it doesn't that's the way it goes did you see this coming at all no how did you, so scott just called you in his office and you guys sat down and he delivered yeah, he, the news actually he came in today and you know we had a quick discussion and that's how it went and I mean, how are you dealing with it? Are you still in shock? Are you surprised? Well, I mean, you seem you know nothing surprises me anymore in, in coaching. So, uh, you know, I've talked to uh, a number of people that have been in, uh, on staffs in the states in the last few weeks where they're going to bowl games and they're, they've been fired. So nothing surprises me anymore. And hey, it's uh, when you get into you know coaching, you understand that's. Uh, those things happen. Uh, there's a famous quote out there by Bum Phillips that says there's two kinds of coaches: those that have been fired and those who will be fired. What's going to be the sorry? What's going to be the hardest part for you about uh, leaving this organization, this city? This well, the, you know, like I said, I've really enjoyed being here. I've enjoyed the people I work with. There, there's a very good group of people here in the organization that strive to do the, do things the right way. Want to re really want to uh, do the things that are may make it easier for you to win and you know it was an enjoyable you know, it was a tough year but it was enjoyable coming to work every day and that's usually how you uh judge where you're whether you enjoy what you're doing disappointed at all you, you seem to be taking this all 
quite well. Is there part of you that's angry about what's happening? Well, you know, I, I disappointed would be correct, but you know, it's one of those things where, when I've been doing this since '73, uh, and it's just what happens. You're a well-connected guy on both sides of the border in the football game. Have you already put some feelers out? Heavens no. <laughs> what did you? What was the first thing you did when you? I called my wife. Was she surprised? Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, I hated for her to hear it on the news. Then I called the assistant coaches for the same reason. What did they say? Well, they were surprised. You know, you know, it's uh, like I said. I I wanted to make sure I talked to them, and luckily I did get a hold of all of them. Knowing that there was a there were questions throughout the season about, or at least fans were asking questions about the se throughout the season about, you know, could there be any coaching changes? And that this administration stood by you guys, uh, you and your staff, saying that they had full confidence in you. What do you think changed between then and now? I'm not going to get into trying to uh, des decide what happened or, or delve into that. Even for your own peace of mind? <laughs> no second guesses. No, I like I said, I... When you're when you're standing on the sideline and calling plays, and it's a bad play, you got to forget about it because the next one's coming up in the 20 seconds. And you know, once uh, it doesn't do any good to second guess yourself or second guess what happened. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you leave here tonight? Oh, I don't know. I hadn't even thought about it. Is there beer in the fridge? <laughs> it usually <laughs> is. Yeah. <laughs> beer and wine. Candy in the cupboard. There's not any caramels. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Will today be your last day here? Oh, I've got to come in and box up my stuff and things like that. So I'm not doing it today. Any advice you have for whoever it is that may fill no, your shoes? I, they, they certainly couldn't use my advice. Why? <laughs> no, I don't have any advice. And I, I wish them good luck. You know, see, this is a good place. There's, uh, you know, the fans here are very loyal to the team, and uh, we are, they will appreciate that just like I did. Have you been in touch with any of the players? Uh, I had a call from Peter Dykowski. He said he was hoping in his new offer that he possibly could be player head coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a nice conversation with Peter. I don't know who's going to loan him books anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't talked to Henry yet? No, I haven't. Um, any anger at all in this? You'd well, I, you know, like I said, I, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed that it happened. I, you know, anger is you know not a not a word that I would thought to describe you know and uh, like I said it's it is what it is and you know the, the organization of all kinds of professional sports that's their option to decide who they want to be the coach and you know you move on you've been through this before we know having the, a, a long career as you've had you've been fired from other places has this been any more or less difficult than any of the other places oh you, you know it's it's it really is all about the same you know I hate to say that you know when you're, when you're moving on, looking looking for another place, it, it's ultimately all the same. What's next? Well, I don't know. We'll see. That's what makes that's what makes life interesting. And I appreciate you all. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys.